Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another ASMR mukbang eating show. So today I have a breakfast burrito. Um, I'm using these carb balance wraps and this one is three net carbs per wrap and it's only 70 calories. So I have two scrambled eggs. I have um, one strip of turkey bacon. I have, uh, I sprinkled a little bit of reduced fat uh, shredded Mexican cheese. And I have here two tablespoons of fat free sour cream. <laughs> so let's try this breakfast burrito. Mm. Leave it over there. Good job. When I'm done, please. Mm. Look at that. So yummy. Dip it in the sour cream. I was gonna put sour cream inside, but I like to dip it. Mm. Look at that. That's cheese, eggs, turkey bacon. Oh my God. These wraps are amazing, you guys. I got these at Publix. They're super soft, mission brand. Carb balance, these are whole wheat, three grams of net carbs, high fiber, and 70 calories. That's awesome. I'm going to show you again in case you guys want to look it up in your supermarket. Really cool. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm doing lower fat. So that's why I'm using the reduced fat cheese. I'm doing the turkey bacon instead of the regular. And I'm doing the fat-free sour cream instead of the, the regular one. So they have, they have regular, they have light, and they have fat-free. So I decided to go with fat-free because, yeah, lately I'm trying to save on fat as much as I can. I haven't done a breakfast burrito in ages. So it's time to give it to you. It's been quite a while since I've done a breakfast burrito, but you know, it's it's hard to find sometimes like keto friendly wraps and stuff like that. So, but this one is, is pretty awesome. And three net carbs for one wrap. It's not bad whatsoever. Remember not to eat the seed. Caleb ate an apple yesterday that I gave him and I'm like, so where's the rest? And he's like, I ate it. And I think he ate like the tiny little seeds in it. But yeah, look at the size. It's not bad whatsoever. Pretty decent size for that. And like I said, it's only 70 calories. So that's perfect. Mm. And the turkey bacon came out all perfect because I like it like crunchy. So I always do it in the microwave. It's the perfect size because sometimes when they do these wraps, they make them so little that it's hard to like wrap up a burrito, you know? Give me a okay, can you go please? I'm making a video and you guys keep interrupting me. Okay. But uh, yeah, these are a decent size because <laughs> in the past, like I've tried to, also you can't like overstuff them because in the past I've tried to use these wraps before, but not like this one in particular, but I've used other types of wraps in the past. And it's really a mission trying to like roll up and fold the burrito in the way that you're supposed to fold it without it like falling apart. And then like, you can't overstuff it and then you can't put like such a little stuff inside too. But this was perfect with the two eggs and that one si slice of bacon and sp sprinkling that little bit of cheese that I put in there. It just, it, it, 
it was perfect. I was able to fold it perfectly. So good. Oh my God. It's amazing. So, so good. Want a bite? <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Awesome, you guys. Oh, and the two eggs, I cooked it in a teaspoon, a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I want to go to Aldi and stock up on my avocado oil, though, because I love olive oil just the same but i find that for me it's easier to cook with avocado oil like stuff just tastes amazing with avocado oil and like nothing sticks like i don't know just like the texture and the, the flavor of the food comes out perfect and like i said olive oil just the same but for some reason with the avocado oil is is easier like the meals just turn out Perfect. Mm. Mm -mm. So good. Mm. This is awesome. And the the bag, the pack, wasn't kidding when it says super, super soft. Okay, leave it there. Right there on the table. Super soft. They weren't kidding. Because, you know, I've had these for like a week now, I think. And we used them the other night because we had a taco night with some friends here at the house. And, um, you know, I didn't want to eat like the uh, regular flour tortillas. So I used these for me and it's still soft, you know, because after a while, especially once you open the pack, they don't really stay fresh, you know, but these have managed to stay fresh. And like the bag says, super soft, even after a week. So that's awesome. Because, you know, sometimes some of these products be false advertising, you know. It's never as the package claims. But this one, like, honestly, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I had read gluten-free somewhere. But it just has new, new look and same great taste. Well, I did buy something the other day that said gluten-free. I don't know what it is, but. Mm. Wow. That was super awesome, you guys. It would have been even more awesome if my kids didn't keep interrupting me every five minutes. <laughs> That's why I used to love doing my mukbangs when they were in school because, you know, I had more peace and quiet. But thank God they're going back to school in August. <laughs> thank God for that. Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy. <laughs> anyway, this was amazing, you guys. I'm going to go for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. As always, stay tuned for more. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you can be notified when I upload new videos and click on the description box below for a link to all my social media. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.